Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and today I'll show you three different ways to turn your distress inks permanent. This way you can avoid bleeding when you put something on top of them. Now, the beauty of distress inks is of course the fact that uh, they are not permanent, but if you want to stretch your supplies even more, here is what you can do. Now, I am just using a stencil to end up with a bunch of trees so that I can show you all the different ways. Now I am going to apply some paste on top of the trees just to show you what will happen if uh, you don't uh, turn the inks permanent. So at first I am going to apply texture paste and the result is going to be the same even if you apply texture paste, embossing paste, modeling paste, it's pretty much the same. So I'm going to apply that on the first row and then on the second one I am going to apply grid paste which is more uh, thick and textured but you will see that we will end up with pretty much the same results in terms of bleeding. So the distressing is going to bleed on both those trees. So as those trees are drying let's move on to the techniques on the next trees. So the first way to make your distress ink permanent is to apply multi-medium mat. Now this is uh, a technique that uh, you need to remember to apply it either with a spatula, just like I am going to show you here, or with a brush. But remember, if you apply it with a brush, the brush has to be totally dry, not wet at all. Otherwise, it's going to transfer water onto your tree and then the ink is going to react with water, which is not what you want to. So you see that I am spreading out the paste really lightly, making sure that I cover up both trees. This way I don't uh, move the ink at all. And when the matte medium is dry, I will end up with a tree that is totally permanent. Now as matte medium is drying, let's move on to the second technique. And for those two trees, I am going to apply Distress Microglaze. Now this is a product that was specifically created for turning your distress inks into permanent and you just apply it with your finger. It's super easy to apply and uh, it has the look and feel of a Vaseline. So I am going to do that for the two trees. And now for the last trees, the technique is to do clear embossing, which means that I am going to cover up all the trees with my Versamark ink, and then I am going to apply clear embossing powder. Now what this is going to do is to turn the trees a little bit uh, darker and uh, glossier, but at the same time they are going to lock the ink on the paper and uh, it's not going to go anywhere. So as you can see here, I have applied my clear embossing powder on the last two trees and now I'm going to use my heat can and melt the powder. Now, you know that embossing powder is actually plastic, which means that this is going to cover up the whole tree and turn it into permanent. I am also making sure that uh, my matte medium is also dry and then I am ready to apply my paste on top. So now for all the trees in the first row I am going to apply some uh, texture paste and uh, for all the trees in the second row I am going to apply grid paste. I am going to leave everything to dry and with the magic of uh, video editing I am going to leave everything to dry throughout the night and I am going to fast forward to the next day where you can see all the results. So here are all the trees, they are dry I have left that through the night and the first row, remember, is the one where we have applied the texture paste while the second one is where we have applied grid paste. Now in the first column I haven't applied anything. In the second one it was the one that I have applied multi-medium matte. The third one is where I have applied my distress glaze and uh, the last one is where I did my Versa marking and clear embossing powder. You can see that the first column is where the bleeding is more obvious, especially where I have uh, applied the texture paste. Now for all the, uh, the rest of them, you can see that you get a beautiful result, but you need to take uh, in account that uh, in the last two cases the ink gets a little bit darker. So these are the three ways to turn your um, distress inks into permanent. Here is a closer look so you can see the results better. Just choose your favorite or the one that you like based on your supplies. 
Now if you want to see how I used one of those techniques to create a card, make sure to click on this video where I am creating 10 cards out of the limited edition card kit by Simon Says Stamp. I hope this video was helpful to you and if you like these kind of videos with tips, tricks and techniques, let me know in the comments below. Thank you all for watching!